Did you know that in Bluey, there's a reference to one of the greatest adventure movies of all time? Well, it happens in the first season in the episode Yoga Ball, where Bandit and the girl spend the day doing different things with the yoga ball he uses to sit in his office, claiming he messed up his back changing Bluey's diapers, which was a joke, with a hint of truth. At one point, they ask Bandit to play a game where he throws the ball in their direction, and they run and jump to save themselves. This scene is a clear reference to the scene from Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark, the first film in the Indiana Jones franchise from 1981, over 40 years ago. From this play, we can get an idea that Bandit is older than we might think. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. Stick with us as we've compiled 15 details and Easter eggs in Bluey, and this was just the first one. You'll see that there are references to several historical movies as well. Tennis Ball This is one of those Easter eggs that is present in practically every episode of Bluey, the tennis ball. Some shows always include one or more items that appear in their episodes, like Pixar, which always includes A113 in all of its films. In the case of Bluey, it's the tennis ball that appears in many, if not all, episodes of The Blue Dog. Seriously, it shows up a lot, many times. Let's just show a few instances. In the Magic Weekend episode, near the front door of the house, we can see the tennis ball on the floor, as it had been used in a game sometime before. In fact, we see two tennis balls in the same scene, and it's also near the hamster plush next to the armchair. In the mini Bluey episode, we see the ball when Chili looks under Bluey's bed. And there it is again. In the hotel episode, we see the tennis ball in a frame at the top of the stairs at the beach. Someone involved in the production of the show really likes playing tennis because there's no other explanation. Note, folks, the tennis ball is not the only Easter egg that appears in every episode. There's one more I'll tell you about in a moment. Is this what you want? It seems someone in the production of Bluey has great taste in movies, as we have another reference to another iconic film, Gladiator, from 2000. In the Fairies episode, the healers are playing, and in the game, Bandit needs to dance for the fairies to release Bingo, who is frozen with her fingers on her nose. And then he starts dancing and shouts, Is this what you want? Then he says in sequence, Are you not entertained? And those are exactly the same things that the protagonist of Gladiator, Maximus, says to the spectators in the arenas in a scene from the movie, just like Bandit imitates. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? 101 Dalmatians. In Bluey, there are references not only to historical movies, but also to historical cartoons. Chloe, who is one of Bluey's best friends, comes from a Dalmatian family, which reminds us of the movie 101 Dalmatians and the villainous Cruella de Vil. But that alone is not a reference to the movie, but the fact that Chloe's house number is 101 is definitely a big reference because that's the 101st house of a Dalmatian family, as we see in the Octopus episode. Masks Bandit, the girl's dad, is an archaeologist. Sometimes he has to travel for work, but most of the time he works from home, in his office. And we see some cool references in Bandit's office, one of them being a canine version of African masks at the top of the office. This shows that in the world of Bluey, there are canine tribes in various parts of the world, even though they live in Australia. Samurai Similarly, if you look closely, you'll also see a samurai sword in Bandit's office. This means that the girl's dad has definitely traveled to many places around the world, probably even to Japan. Brisbane And since the show is set in Australia, of course, there would be some references to the country at some point, besides the fact that the sun is extremely hot there. To be more specific, the healers live in the city of Brisbane, which is located on the extreme eastern coast of the country, by the beach. In fact, the city's beach is exactly the one we see in the ice cream episode, and also the square with a water jet that helps cool the population on extremely hot days in the city, as it can reach 30 degrees Celsius there, and other places too. Dim Sim in addition to references to places within Australia, Bluey also brings references to Australia through expressions, way of life, and even food. One of these references occurs in the Daddy Baby episode of the second season, where we see Bluey and Bandit grabbing a snack from the fridge called Dim Sim. Dim Sim is a kind of meat and vegetable dumpling. Although Dim Sim is a dish of Chinese origin, it was created in Australia by Chinese immigrants and is extremely popular there, making it another reference to the country and its habits because most of us aren't familiar with Dim Sims. And if if you're also a fan of this incredible show, comment down below hashtag chili in reference to the mother of the two little dogs who are so much fun. Ham Taro 
Do you remember Hamtaro, an animated children's show from the 2000s that tells stories of adventures with little hamsters? We have a reference to them among the girls' toys. In the statue episode, we see that there's an orange hamster plush near the armchair on the floor. This plush is a reference to the successful Japanese manga and anime for kids. Strawberry Shortcake In that same episode, we see another reference to another very famous children's show. When Bingo is having trouble sleeping, Bluey takes her sushi doll and interacts with Bingo. In addition to being the first time we see a doll with human human features in a universe populated only by dogs, another detail catches the eye. The similarity of the sushi doll to Strawberry Shortcake, a children's character with various cartoons and licensed products, including dolls, like the one Bluey is holding. So, that doll is clearly a reference to Strawberry Shortcake, which has been around since 1980 as a children's product. The Simpsons in the episode The Sleepover, we see a reference to the show that's been on TV the longest, The Simpsons. Muffin, the girl's cousin, is staying over at the healer's house, but she's a bit unruly because she didn't take her nap, and at one point she grabs a little cart and bumps into a flamingo in the kiddie pool. Right after, she yells, I am the queen. Not many people will notice, but this is a reference to a scene from The Simpsons where Lisa is caught by the police, and she's quite altered, and she shouts exactly the same thing. I am the Lizard Queen! The folks behind Bluey like The Simpsons, and who doesn't, right? The Simpsons too. But that wasn't the only reference to the Yellow family of Springfield. In one of the episodes where Bandit simulates a pregnancy and Bingo is inside a kind of bag in his belly. Remember? When he tries to eat, Bingo keeps grabbing the dumplings one by one and doesn't let him eat any. This scene is a clear reference to the sixth episode of the 20th season of The Simpsons, in which Homer tries to eat potato chips, but the puppies keep stealing them from his hand multiple times. Pretty similar, don't you agree? Mine. 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 Uh, stop! Hidden Puppy Remember we talked about the Easter egg of the tennis ball that appears in every episode of Bluey? Well, it's not the only toy to appear in every episode. Another toy, a long-bodied puppy, also appears in every episode in one way or another, even if it's in the most unexpected places and where no one is looking, like behind a bush. But usually, it's among the girls' toys. The fact is, one way or another, it's always there, even in different colors like green or purple. It must have been an idea to keep the fans always looking for it in every episode. <laughs> Batman! Well, folks, it seems that Batman is so famous that he even exists in the Bluey universe. Besides singing a Christmas song adapted with Batman's name, Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin ran away. He lost his pants down in France and found them in Norway. Hey! In the episode where Bluey dreamt of bats, which are her favorite animals, at least that night, we see that after seeing Bandit playing rugby, she starts flying, and her shadow reaches the moon, which is a reference to the first Batman movie from 1989 where Batman's ship does exactly the same thing, creating a shadow over the moon. Puss in Boots And it seems that Batman, Strawberry Shortcake, and Hamtaro are not the only cartoon characters that exist in the Bluey universe, because it seems that Shrek also exists there. Not exactly Shrek, but a character from the franchise who even has his own movies, Puss in Boots. That's because in several moments, the girls give that fatal look in the best feline swordsman style when they want to convince their dad to do something. Which is a clear reference to Puss in Boots, and his look that is simply impossible to get angry at. This is probably the cutest reference of all. It's impossible to say no. <laughs> These were the 15 references and Easter eggs that we've shared with you today, found in the Bluey series. Bluey is definitely one of the coolest and most entertaining cartoons around right now, and since we know you still want to have more fun, we've picked these two videos for you to continue enjoying, so you can choose any of them and continue your journey. Have fun!